couldn't do that magnificently. Now we have the winner of the second group, and that is riders who were on their own horses. And this is Alexi Dunnett from Canada, riding her own pony, Mocha Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> Alexi is 40 years old and has been riding and training with her two ponies for six years. She's an enthusiastic and competent rider who loves the sport of dressage. She is fluent in both English and French, is an honor student in school, and volunteers with the Canadian Cancer Society in their public education programs. She hopes that she will be a positive role model for the other young riders in the Atlantic region. And now Lexi is performing a little warm-up for us before she begins a ride. We all love this tail, this beautiful flax and tail. Notice how relaxed, what a relaxed way the horse carries the tail and just swings along with his back. It's an indication of how relaxed his back is. He has a beautiful symmetrical facial marking, which is, makes it easy for the judges to see how straight he is. <laughs> and to really see what the bend is. This is a very obedient, happy, submissive horse. He has a beautiful top line, very uphill, very curious but happy and bright eye. He's looking at the people over there to the right of him. The nice little bend in the left, very nice rhythm that she keeps with her horse and she's giving him a nice confidence here before he begins the test. She's also got him very straight when a horse is straight, the inside hind leg steps between the two front legs. She's trying a little lengthening there with him right now. And now she's riding up to her cue spot, so she's ready to go. Good luck. And now, broadcast live in front of a live studio audience for the first time from the certified
Well done, Alexi and Mocha Chocolata. I think we're, we're now going to go on to some of our more established competitors, uh, especially competitive dressage riders, but I think they should be observing the challenge that they're going to see in a couple of years from Mexico and from Canada. Now going in the ring is Erin Che, who will perform a fourth level freestyle. Erin is a USCF bronze medalist. In, two, in 2008, she won the Region 8, that's New England, for those who don't follow the USCF Region, Open Fourth Level Championship. Today, she's riding Marine Bell, a 12-year-old Danish gelding owned by Catherine McHugh. Fourth level is our highest national level. It's the level just before the international levels. And in this level, we have flying changes, which Aaron is now performing for us. These are beautiful flying changes. There's a little mistake there in the last one, but the first two were very fluid and forward and very uphill. And again, a very beautiful collected canter established here. And now she's going into the half pass left. Notice the beautiful bend in the neck. It's not easy to do that, and it shows how soft and supple the horse is. She makes a flying change to the right. Beautifully done in the same cadence and rhythm as the collected canter. We look to see that the flying changes are the same size as the regular canter strides. And now a beautiful half pass to the right. Very nice bend. Beautiful flying change and half pass to the left. Notice the crossing of the hind legs. And how, again, the very relaxed tail with this horse. Nice swing in his back. Very uphill canter. She's using her seat and lower back magnificently to bring the horse into the self-carriage that she needs to come around now into a very collected canter. Notice how his hind legs come under, his shoulders come up. Again, the aids are flawless. He stays nicely round. Round means over his back with his round in his neck. Now she's coming into the medium log and asking the horse to come round her over his back. 